has a big yawn. Um, <laughs> Come gotta on. Get up. What in my face? And really? back down. <laughs> Hold up, gotta go outside. Hi, I don't really know who I woke up and decided to cosplay as this morning, but I woke up at 8 a.m. very easily, which is not something I've done in maybe ever. Made coffee, fed her, lay down for like an hour, and then took her on a long hike. I mean, we weren't in the woods, but it's, it's very hilly here, so it was basically a hike. We went on for like three miles. She's very tired now, but yeah. I don't know, lately I've just been kind of waking up very motivated. I don't know if it's because we are getting towards like fall and winter, which means it's a lot more foggy and overcast-y. <laughs> for most people when it's overcast, you want to sleep and be lazy and do nothing. But for me, overcast really motivates me because when it's sunny outside, I just want to sleep and I want to do things when it's overcast, which seems very opposite and not what most people probably are it could also be because yesterday me and coda slept all day the i left the bed to go to the bathroom and walk her and then right back to bed so but i did and here we are i'm ready to go for the day ignore what's happening here my dishwasher was full and i ran it and i didn't want to hand wash it she got her food today i ordered my food today and it should be delivered sometime between now and one o'clock i need to put this away and take a shower. I feel like every time I film, I'm either, it's my hair wash day or like the day before when I look busted like this. of things when I buy them so when I got this I thought it was like a full like cold brew like couple few cups <laughs> obviously not <laughs> but I've never tried this so I kind of I'm I want to try it but I think I'm gonna take a shower first <laughs> I took a shower and while I was in there, I really did have the intentions of doing my hair. I just thought about doing it and I didn't feel like it. I just put a hair mask in and I'm just gonna leave it in all day and then take it out tonight. And I'm sure probably regret it because then I'm gonna have to go to bed with wet hair, but I just don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> it's not like I didn't need it. I haven't done a hair mask in a couple weeks and I usually try to do one at least once a week so it is washed, it is done. It's just back in a bun with a mask in. <laughs> Obviously, so I had breakfast for lunch. I <laughs> I have a really bad habit of not <laughs> eating breakfast. I don't get hungry for like hours after I wake up. I've never really been the person that eats breakfast in the morning. When I do try to eat right when I wake up, it just hurts my stomach. But <sighs> I know it's better for you. I'm trying to do that. Obviously not going very well. 
She's not. She was not ready for that walk this morning. I'm still pretty motivated, although the sun came out and kind of makes me want to take a nap. I still don't understand that logic. When the sun is out, it just kind of reminds me of being on the beach, being at the beach and in the sun. Those are like the best naps, I'm telling you. So I think when the sun is out like this, that's where my mind kind of goes and that's why I get sleepy. At least that's what I think. But that doesn't mean that I woke up with the, the motivation to leave my house. So I'm not going to do that. I just, I don't want to. I mean, I never really want to, <laughs> but I'm definitely not going to today. Also the cold brew was actually really good. I kind of hate that it was just a small jar and not a big bottle, but you know, appreciate the little things. She doesn't just like twitch and move. She fully runs in her sleep. And I, I love her, I really do. I know some people don't like letting their dogs sleep in their bed. I don't care if she sleeps in mine. The only issue, she kicks and twitches so much. It's not just little like doo -doo, like she's doing right now. It's like full, she's trying to fight Jake Paul next kind of level of kicking. He has to sleep. Some part of her has to be touching you. It's easier if she's sleeping back to back because then when she's kicking, she's kicking out. Oh, but dude, when she turns and she's facing the same way as you and her paws are in your back, she has no problem knocking the crap out of you. Like lights out. If you are having trouble sleeping, sleep next to her. She'll kick you right to sleep and then wake you up and kick you again. I really got into last year was paint by numbers. I am not like a real artist. My mom is more artistic than me. She does a lot of like charcoal. I did not inherit that artistic trait. Something you can do without really, you know, thinking. She wants to be in it too, I guess. I just found them very relaxing. So I had gotten into those over the pandemic. I bought a few, I painted that one. That looks really good on camera. <laughs> and then this is one of the ones that I bought for myself because I'm the kind of person that once I like something, I either really, really like it and love it and like am obsessed with it or I'm, I just don't want to do it ever again. <laughs> and I'm kind of like that with this, although this obsession Obsession, whatever you want to call it, has been going on for a few months. This is one of the ones I bought myself too. Yeah, I was sitting there, sitting here, deciding what I wanted to do with the rest of my day. And I wanted to do something creative and relaxing and didn't require much thought. I have another paint by number that I haven't started yet. And I think I want to start it. So I'm gonna do that today. Oh, look at that blank sheet just ready to be filled in. Oh, I can't wait. I don't wanna say OCD, but I'm very specific. And I like to do it number by number. So I'll start with one and then do two and then do three and then go on that way. Probably does make more sense to do it by section, but that's not how I wrote. Yeah, so I'm just going to sit here and chill and just vibe with myself because Honestly, vibing with yourself is sometimes better than vibing with other people. <laughs> this is what it looks like. This one's what it's... What is happening? This is what it's going to look like. Sorry, I don't know if that was a spoiler, but it's not gonna get finished by the end of this video anyway. The only thing that worries me <laughs> is the other ones, they had small spaces, but they didn't come with a magnifying glass. I can't just get a blank canvas or sheet of paper and create something on it. I can never think of anything to draw. I, I feel like that's kind of what painting is though. It's, you don't really have to be specific. It can just be whatever. It doesn't even have to make sense. I mean, you've ever been to an art museum. I feel like unless you really understand art, a lot of it makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> no shade to artists. I'm sure they actually do have meaning. All jokes. All right, well, <laughs> we're having a different point of view change because someone needed attention. I feel like I have a bird on my shoulder.
Well, speaking of Miss Front and Center, uh, I feel like I'm definitely going to start sounding like a new parent who only ever talks about their children's accomplishments. But I am a new parent who is going to talk about her child's accomplishments. <laughs> Two things that I'm proud of her for. One, I think I said in the last one that she's not the biggest fan of other dogs. And I think a lot of it is she, she just gets scared. But I've only seen her twice now get excited about another dog. A couple days ago, our apartment complex, it has like dog area. And we were on one end of it in the on the outside, not inside. And somebody came through with their dog and the dog came up to the fence and was like excited. She wasn't near the fence, but she could obviously see the dog. And she was actually like excited and I could tell she wanted to play with it because her tail was wagging and she just looked happy. I know it's, it seems like it's not that much, but if you've seen her with other dogs like I have and seen how like very anxious and kind of scared and stressed she gets when she sees them and then to see her excited about another dog was really cool because to me it shows she's feeling more comfortable with us and she's learning that she can trust us and that she knows like we're not gonna let anything happen to her. It made all the <laughs> long days and training that we have done kind of worth it. I'm not taking that as now she's gonna see every dog as like a playmate, but it's one step closer to her. Hopefully one day being able to go to a dog park and play with other dogs and make friends. The second thing that I'm going to be a proud parent about I think I also mentioned this in the last video, but I didn't really go into it, is she does have separation anxiety. Last week, she has been starting to take time for herself and going into a separate room and being alone. At night, she'll actually go and sleep on the couch by herself while we go to bed. Again, I feel like that seems like nothing, but if you've seen how much she just didn't even want to be in a room alone, or go from that to being comfortable sleeping out here by herself. We haven't completely left her on her, on her own for a long period of time yet, just because I know she's not ready for that. But today, her dog food I came and I thought about just waiting until my mom got home to go down there so she wasn't alone. But I was like, you know what? Let's test it. Let's see if I can go hit this box. And I came back and she was just standing by the door waiting. It shows we're on moving in the right direction and we're doing things right. We are hitting the three month mark now, I think almost. And she's definitely a different dog than the dog we brought home. And that's including when a couple that's how I know she's having a good dream. It's because she wags her tail in her sleep. But yeah, I just wanted to sit here and paint and brag about my dog for a second because that's what a parent does. They brag about their children. So I didn't really paint much longer. It's because the spaces are really small. <laughs> I kind of didn't want to do right now. Um, I'm not like really hungry, but I know later I'm going to be hungry and I'm trying to do the responsible thing and not keep ordering door DoorDash. I want to say because I'm too tired to cook and too hungry to wait for it, but apparently I'm not hungry enough to wait an hour for it to be delivered. So right now, since I'm not that hungry, I'm going to cook so then later, when I actually am hungry, I'll have food ready. Smart. I love cooking, but even more, I love cooking very simple, easy recipes. Fun pan meals, my favorite. So I think I'm just gonna make like a Buddha bowl. Maybe I'll just roast some onions, some peppers. I have kale and spinach I can put in it. I'm gonna do chickpeas, the creamy, whatever, goddess dressing. But yeah, and then call it a day. I don't know. Does it? Oh, I have to. Oh, I forgot I have to wash my hair. <laughs> I still don't feel like doing it, but can't leave it in. Can I leave it in all night? No, because I'm not going to want to do it in the morning.
so I just took Code out for her last potty break, took a shower, brushed my teeth, and now I'm fully in bed and ready to go to sleep because I am so tired. <laughs> I did not rinse the hair mask out of my hair, so we're just gonna leave her in for the rest of the night. Just gonna rinse it out and do it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even really do anything today, so I don't know why I'm so tired. Although I did take her on a really long walk this morning. And then I took her on another long walk before I ate dinner. I did some stuff. But yeah, I mean, today was a pretty chill, kind of lazy day. Which means tomorrow, maybe I'll wake up with even more motivation than I had this morning. Oh, I forgot to take my contacts out. No wonder I can see so well. I'm gonna take my contacts out and then I would say go to bed and go to sleep. But if I'm being realistic, I'm probably gonna watch the next two episodes of Love Island UK. And then I'll for sure probably wake up tomorrow and regret the fact that I did that. So I hope you have a good rest of your day or night and I will see you next time. Oh, I'm so tired.